sad day and it is also a happy day. A sad day because we recollect what our forebearers went through when they were uh, taken from Africa and enslaved in the Americas. We witnessed this morning the harrowing journey that they must have gone through. Our journey this morning was brief, all but maybe about 30 minutes. But we know they went through weeks and months, harrowing experiences, not knowing where they were going, not knowing what their future would be. But we knew we were coming here to be received warmly. So, in a way, we were happy. But in a way, it was also a suffering experience because we were imagining what our forebears must have gone through. And for me, it is important because we realize the resilience of uh, the Africans in the diaspora. What they have gone through, yet they have risen high. We have here celebrated personalities wherever they are in their countries. Renowned actresses, um, people in academia blazing the trail. We have here first black African-American leaders in cabinet, first black deputy speakers of cabinet. It is amazing what the Africans in the diaspora have achieved. Therefore, it is important and incumbent upon you to come back and lift Africa high. And you can do this by fostering partnerships with African companies, with African countries, and building businesses, bringing back investments into Africa to build an Africa beyond aid as the president of Ghana has set as his vision. And through this, Africa will benefit and Africans in the diaspora will also benefit by rising to achieve the fullest, highest of their dreams. So today we welcome you back home. Enjoy your stay. Eat Ghana, wear Ghana, feel Ghana, and fall in love with Ghana.